There are a number of farming enterprises that can be done to raise money, but poultry keeping is one of the enterprises that are transforming lives fast enough and in affordable ways here in Uganda. This particular enterprise will help a family that is engaged in it to raise money, that's an income, to get eggs to feed their families. And when they stop laying eggs, these birds can be a source of meat for the family and for sale. This particular enterprise is one that supports a lot of other enterprises so much, especially those ones that involve cultivation of crops. Because in this business of chicken rearing, you raise chickens as they drop. When they drop, you get the manure that you take to the garden. The Master Cares Ministry is using this enterprise to transform lives of the rural families that are impoverished. The Master Cares Ministry has a farm that has over 7,000 birds. At the Master Cares Farmers Discipleship Program, the Master Cares Ministry picks couples from the remote villages here, families that have really suffered under the bite of poverty to bring them over here to learn how to do agriculture in a business way how to raise animals and plants and doing this really with a low cost of production so that they are able to make money. So in this particular video, we are going to take you through the process of taking care of young chicks right from day one when they are brought in. As you plan to raise chickens, you need a poultry house that is raised basically in local materials because these are not expensive but just to make sure that the poultry house is well aerated. Uh, if you have been having one before you put in a new stock it should be well disinfected with uh, chemicals to kill the germs that could have remained in the poultry house and make sure that at the entrance you have a disinfection point where you put in water and chemicals for people to step in there so, so that the germs that may come on their feet or on their gumboots are killed right in the disinfectant that you put at the doorway. Just make sure nobody enters without disinfecting their feet. The brooder, this is a place where you raise the chicks. It's one that should be done carefully. You put a polythene around it to stop any organisms from coming in. This is the fire burning space. It's a charcoal stove where you put burning charcoal to provide heat to the chicks. This is done to make sure that the chicks stay warm even through the night. The charcoal stove should be raised off the carpet so that even when the burning coals fall, they do not get it burned. This time, uh, we are using clay bricks because they will not burn to be able to burn the chicks. And so to make it safe, we put the clay bricks. The floor of the brooder I should have coffee hassocks put on the floor, spread on the floor, just to make sure that the brooder keeps warm and dry because the hassocks absorb all the moisture. And on top of the coffee hassocks, we put the carpets these are basically to stop the chicks from uh, in any way feeding on the coffee hassocks that are put on the floor. This brooder will not lose heat that is produced by the charcoal stove. And so a carpet will do good to keep the chicks safe and unable to eat the coffee hassocks. The chicks should be provided with the drinkers. There are different types of drinkers. There are drinkers for the mature chickens and those drinkers that are designed for the chicks. These should be kept clean, washed regularly, and the water put in there should be clean. They should not be so raised so that the chicks are able to reach out to drink. When the chicks are young, we should provide a place for the feeds. The feeds for the chicks should be put at a reasonable height 
and we basically use the tray, the egg tray. And this is done for about a week. These are, are good because the chicks are able to reach out for the food. And so the tray should not be raised, but it should be put on the floor so that the chicks are able to reach out for the feeds. The brooder requires enough lighting. This light could be electricity or the source could be solar energy. Using a lantern is not as good. This light enables the chicks to be able to feed. Brooding time is one that requires full attention of the farmer. So you need to provide to put for yourself a mattress for rest, especially at night. Because when the chicks pile up in one corner, they could die. And so because you are present, when they start piling up, you frighten them so that they will spread and you don't have to incur losses of chicks dying. And it also allows them good time to play and exercise. The Master Cares Ministry has this as a full program to transform the lives of couples and families that are impoverished down in the deep villages of Uganda. Working with them to raise these chickens so that they can support the incomes of their households. Not only incomes, but also provide the eggs, which are a very important part of their nutrition program. And to be able to use this particular enterprise to supplement and integrate and make their farming much better. We appreciate the viewers and the subscribers to our YouTube channel. Those who choose to watch these videos, we so appreciate the sponsors out there. You are doing a great thing supporting the Master Cares Ministry to bring the much needed help that we require to transform lives here in Uganda. Just make sure that you don't miss on the next episodes where we will continue to bring you more of what you need to do when you are raising chickens from egg laying.